Historical imagery dating back to the early 1960s tells a story of change. Lake Chad was once the sixth largest lake in the world. Persistent droughts and increased diversion of water for irrigation have reduced it to roughly one-tenth its size 40 years ago. Historical imagery shows the dramatic changes from the 1970s to the 1980s and the 1990s as much of the lake has dried up. In recent years, rains have brought some recovery to Lake Chad, but its dramatically reduced surface area continues to challenge the livelihoods of local people. The Aral Sea straddles the border between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in Central Asia. Fed by the waters of two major Central Asian rivers, the Amu Darya to the south and the Sur Darya to the east, the Aral Sea was once the world's fourth largest inland sea. To its south, the banks of the Amu Darya are lined with agriculture fed by irrigation canals like these. Large areas of irrigation were developed on both rivers in the 1960s, diverting much of the Aral Sea's inflow to grow cotton, melons, and cereal grains. Irrigation like this created a deficit of water flowing into the sea. Irrigation continued to expand along both rivers throughout the 1970s and 80s, the water balance for the Aral Sea averaging a negative 30 cubic kilometers per year during this time. This led to a dramatic shrinking of the lake beginning in the 1960s and continuing today. A dike built in 2005 keeps Sardaria River waters from flowing into the southern or large Aral Sea and has led to a significant recovery of the northern or small Aral Sea, even though the larger sea is being lost. In the 1960s, the Aral Sea covered over 66,000 square kilometers of Central Asia, supporting a large fishery, considerable shipping, and influencing the local climate. By 1987, about 60% of the Aral Sea's volume had been lost. Its depth had declined by 14 meters, and its salt concentration had doubled, killing the commercial fishing trade. Wind storms became toxic, carrying fine grains of clay and salts deposited on exposed sea floor. Life expectancies in the districts near the sea are significantly lower than in the surrounding areas. The sea is now a quarter of the size it was 50 years ago, has broken into two parts, the small Aral Sea in the north and the large Aral Sea to the south. Without dramatic measures, the southern sea may soon become two smaller bodies of water and may completely dry up in the coming decades. The Pearl River Delta in southeastern China has long been a natural trade center with deep harbors and access to China's southeastern interior by way of the Pearl River. Hong Kong, located at the mouth of the Pearl River, however, was still a town of only 7,500 people as recently as the mid-19th century. When it came under British rule in 1841, its location and access to China quickly made it one of the world's most active ports. In 1978, the Chinese government began a program of reform intended to drive economic growth by liberalizing regulation. As a part of that program, a special economic zone was created in 1980 just across the border from Hong Kong surrounding Shenzhen, a small fishing village of 30,000 people. In just 10 years, Shenzhen had grown into a city of over 1 million people. In the 1990s and 2000s, the pace of construction was staggering, with over 30 square kilometers of land developed per year. It was estimated that by 2007, over 90% of Shenzhen's available land had been built on. The population of Shenzhen puts enormous pressures on the environment. Water pollution from untreated sewage, declining air quality, invasive species, and a degraded coastal environment are just a few of the environmental challenges that Shenzhen is facing. The pace of growth can be seen in this series of satellite images. 
From a small footprint at the edge of the Pearl River in 1979, Shenzhen grows into a megacity in just 25 years. Current estimates for the Shenzhen metropolitan area are around 10 million people. Some scenarios suggest that the area's population could grow to over 15 million people in the next 10 years. As Shenzhen grows, its environmental impact will increasingly overlap with that of the many other cities of the Pearl River Delta.